I know what you're thinking. You see a band name, you see the word sucks, and you see it's on my channel, and you're gonna go, ah. Here he goes again, saying another band sucks, giving his usual reasons as to why he finds them completely mediocre, talentless, to, to, to say how bad the experience was for him when he listened to it. Gonna talk about how bad the lyrics are, how bad the musicianship is, talk about how the music only appeals to little 13 year old emo scenester wannabe kids and hang out in malls after school because they think homework is just too mainstream for them. Uh, well, all of these things do apply to fans of Falling in Reverse and the band Falling in Reverse itself. However, I'm going to focus primarily on an, on an incident that occurred completely unrelated to the quality of their music, not just the music itself. So don't discredit this video so quickly, and I hope you don't. And I will apologize right off the bat, well, not off the bat, but second off the bat, whatever. Um, I was just at a Tigers game, game two of the American League Divisional Series, and I spent the better half of two and a half hours yelling at the Tigers for damn near losing the game, more specifically, their crappy bullpen. So, <clears throat> my voice is going to be a little bit different. It might crack at random intervals. I hit puberty, trust me, unlike a lot of the fans of Falling in Reverse. Oh, what a lovely transition, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Now, Falling in Reverse is one of those hardcore bands. One of those hardcore bands that little rebel teeny boppers seem to love. And, of course, they're led by these little teeny boppers' demigod, one of their demigods, Ronnie Radke. And, um... Well, let me just uh, read you some of their lyrics here, because you'll probably see why they do appeal to these little 13-year-old teeny boppers that don't know any better. <clears throat> you got pep in your step, live your life with no regret, and how you look when you are wet is something I cannot forget. I just want to kiss your lips, the ones between your hips. If I cashed in all my chips on you, then baby, I'd be rich, so come on. Sexy, please text me, I'm ready for you. I'm waiting, I'm begging, please get here soon. This, of course, is from the album The Drug In Me Is You, which is pretty much the soundtrack to a botched colonoscopy. It, it's kind of like, to me, when I was listening to it, it was like ten cats collectively getting together and trying to pass kidney stones. It, it just just one of the worst albums I've ever heard in my life. And some people are going to go, Oh, well, some other lyrics on the album are profound and deep. They're pseudo-profound. They're pseudo-deep. They're pseudo-intellectual. Putting a few multisyllabic words in your songs does not make them profound. Maybe to you little 13-year-old kids it's profound, but not to people that actually think. Now, I told you there was another reason that they suck. Another glaring example of what makes them suck. And it has to do with a concert it did. Now, this was the very first concert, metal show, excuse me, that Six Flags in New Jersey held. And you could have assumed maybe things would go wrong, and but you, more specifically, the fans would probably riot, and, you know, maybe the fans would start trampling one another. You know, the, the, the general things that people say about metal music. Actually, oh, I don't even need to read. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just paraphrase what happened here. Ronnie Radke, the lead singer, felt he was so hardcore that he needed to make a statement. So he took the microphone stand and thought he would give one of the fans a nice souvenir to go home with. An injury. He threw the fucking thing into the crowd, injured two people, a 16-year-old girl and a 24-year-old. And Six Flags is now saying they are no longer holding metal concerts. Again, the experiment failed. No, actually... Falling in Reverse failed. You're the morons that decided to have such a shitty band play there. A hardcore band with hardcore fans. They were probably begging for the damn thing. Probably not, but, you know, that's just how hardcore goes. But, but my, my, my real question is this, okay? You're Ronnie Racky. You're up there on the stage. You're humping the, the stage. You're, you're staring at the 14-year-old girls that you're going to try to get with. You're, 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 you're singing. You're dancing around. And a thought pops in your head. Hmm... This show needs a little bit more pep in its step. We need to set a good example for other metal bands, other prospective metal bands that could come play here. We need to show them what metal is really all about. And never mind that there are kids in the crowd, they need to see this so they get a dose of reality. Here comes my big heavy metal microphone stand! Woo! Clunk! Now, uh, fortunately for all of us, Radke was arrested and fined. I think it was... Uh, 25, no, he, he posted $25,000 bail chump change for him, thanks to all you little kids that give him money on these terrible, terrible records, and all the views on their terrible YouTube page. But, 
People are going to say this, and some of you fanboys of uh, Falling in Reverse posted this article and tried to defend them and said, Well, it's a metal show. These things going to happen. Ha, two things, cousin. Number one, they are not metal. Do not associate them with metal. They are hardcore dumpster sludge. They are a big pot of dung, and they're on stage stirring it up so you can all get a big, nice whiff. And knowing Mr. Ronnie Radke, he'd probably kick it over and dump it on all of you little cretins. Second of all, that's not metal, okay? You, you may try to compare this to slam dancing or stage diving or all that, but no, it's not the same thing. When you're throwing a fucking projectile from the stage as big and cumbersome as a mother fucking mic stand, you gotta think to yourself, huh, maybe somebody could get hurt. Maybe. And maybe there are probably some kids in the crowd, because we're at fucking Six Flags. It's supposed to be a family friendly place, right? Supposed to be a family friendly place, a place where their moms and dads should not be afraid of taking them lest they get hit in the fucking head with a microphone stand. Nope, oh well, phew, you fucking moron. You're lucky you got off with what you did. If I was a judge in that county, your ass would have been in jail for at least, well, I, I can't say 10 years. That, that's, that's a bit too wrong. But then again, anytime you can lock up a terrible singer and spare the world of their ineptitude, then I guess you're doing a credit to the gene pool and our, the ears. But this goes both ways too, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to exonerate fans. Fans who throw shit on stage, stupid. Absolutely fucking, under no circumstance you do that. You see, for example, a lot of you on my Facebook, you, you'll send me uh, a video over and over again, as if uh, you, you figured I just never saw it before. About, th I would say about 40 times I've been sent this video of Nickelback being barraged with rocks at a show in Portugal, and you guys said, huh, yeah, hey, UTF, this is funny. You said, fuck no, it's not funny, it's stupid. Just because they hate Nickelback, that, that, that gives them the right to put their lives in danger and possibly kill them? I don't know, you, you should have seen some of the rocks they're lobbing on stage. In fact, you see some of the, there's one video where one idiot lobs a rock at Axl Rose. I don't care what you think about Axl Rose, I don't like him very much either. About that fucking big around and damn near nails him in the head. So yeah, you could potentially kill somebody with you. And, and you're gonna sit there and say, oh, it's Nickelback. Yeah, Nickelback sucks shit, but would I pelt them with a rock? I wouldn't even pelt Justin Bieber with a rock. I wouldn't throw shit at him. If I saw Justin Bieber on the street, I'd go, hi. I hate your music, but you probably don't care. I don't even know if I would say that. It just makes no fucking sense to me. But it makes sense to some of you, and I don't get it. Just as much sense as it made to this guy to lob a fucking microphone stand into the crowd. Oh, I'm so hardcore. I'm gonna get that shit out of here, Radke. And it's only so fitting that all of these little hardcore bands, they're not gonna be known in 10 years. Hardcore might still be around, but these bands have no staying power because your fans have the attention span of a housefly. Jumping from one pile of shit to the next. Perfect analogy. Jumping from one steaming pile of shit to the next. And they eat it up and they can't get enough of it. You're going to be nothing in five to ten years. Falling in reverse, nothing five to ten years. And you know what? I got to say something else. Got to say something else. Uh, when I was listening to this Drug and Me Is You album, trying to get through it, I realized something. Ronnie Radke is some of the most obnoxiously awful vocals I've ever heard in my entire life, and I, for not for one second, can understand how anybody can get over them. Sometimes I'll be listening to a band, listening to the vocals, because the lead singer is the most important part, apparently, and going, how can you listen to this garbage? His vocals are, th it's this guttural whine, this meandering fucking whine, and I don't get it. Sometimes I literally have to question the mentality of people that can somehow stomach that shit. It, it's awful. I would say worse than Chad Kroger. Worse than Kesha. Worse than Katy Perry. Worse than anything I think I've ever heard. Even Design the Skyline. Even that... <laughs> that, that macaron chacaron shit. Oh. Roddy Radke's an imbecile. Falling in reverse sucks. I... <laughs> I saw that video. And I, I, I just couldn't understand it. I've been to punk shows where lead singers aren't as stupid as this guy, and a lot more tame as well. Well, it's, it's metal. It's, it's, it's metal because you know we, we, in the metal crowd, you know th things get thrown. Uh, ha! What metal shows do you go to where ten people can get away with throwing shit before security kicks their ass out? It's usually one and done. I've seen it happen before. I saw a guy get his lights punched out for throwing a beer bottle on stage once. 
It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And now Six Flags can't hold metal shows. Way to set the standard for metal. Way to set an example falling in reverse. Way to set an example for the people running the thing. I'm sure they're bright enough to know that not all metal bands are as stupid as you guys, but it doesn't matter anymore because enough parents complain that they no longer want metal there. Way to show them what metal is all about. No. I advise anybody that's listening to this, if you know anybody that's Six Flags that's, that's higher up, let them know they are not metal. They are hardcore, and hardcore is a dumpster sludge subgenre. Maybe. I don't even want to call it a subgenre of metal. But it's different from actual metal because I tend to believe actual metal heads are a bit brighter than this shit. By and large. Whatever. I'm done. Now, this is probably about 10 minutes now. I gotta go drink some tea or gargle something. Oh, gargle. Yeah, I'm sure Falling in Reverse can write a, a song about gargling. Yeah. Have a good day, folks.